the finger. Jordan. Hello old school NBA fans, welcome back to NBA Basement, the channel with classic NBA basketball. In today's video we will again take you back to the golden age of NBA basketball. So just sit back, relax and enjoy the time travel. Some more word on that from Craig Sager before the tip off, but Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan are probably a lot closer than a lot of people get credit for. I mean they may be on different parts of the continent. But their friendship has grown over the years. Well, and I think that's understandable. Most young players looked at Michael and tried to emulate Michael. A lot of them didn't expect him to come back. But I don't think that means beans right now because I think these guys are really going to go after one another. And it means more to them than they will admit. Washington and Los Angeles, and here we go. We're happy to have you with us tonight. The Wizards have. And I talked to Phil Jackson before the game. You know, he... Free throw shooter Kobe Bryant. The number to shoot two. those outside shots and getting back to the Kobe being booed in Philadelphia. You know, Derek Fisher was the only other guy all the whole weekend that was booed. So I agree with Coach. <laughs> I think the Laker uniform had a lot of yeah. Samaki Walker's hit his first two shots. Looking inside, Jordan with the offensive rebound. And Hamilton left uncovered for a mid range jump shot. Oh, energy. Wizards with the lead 13 to 9. Jordan to Hamilton. The Fisher. And Medvedenko, a much better offensive player than Madsen, but not near the defense or rebounder. But he well, that's absolutely correct. And I think one of the things that he did is instill confidence in these guys by being forceful. I always worried it's because Mike was so demanding, so good himself, whether he would break the confidence. He did just the opposite. These guys responded, and now they're playing much better than anyone thought they would. Like as if you got somebody else in the middle rather than Shaquille. Evan George with three, and that is the first three-point hit tonight for the Los Angeles Lakers. The second. Lou, shot clock at five, over Hunter, and right between the eyes. Michael Jordan. Against George, Jordan to a six, the drive, and he misses the chain, and a foul. What a quick spin move by Michael Jordan, taking it inside. Well, Devin George is laughing because he didn't get touched. I think he got beat so bad, Michael just missed the lay-in. This was had flashbacks to the All-Star game right here. He gets by Devin George. Oh, he fouls him. I don't know what he's complaining. He grabbed onto Michael's arm. Well, and it's interesting. You talk about flashbacks to the All-Star game. Jordan is out there. The running system, a lot of things that he ordinarily would try. If Shaq was in the game, he's not trying. Mitch Richmond, 0 of 3, with that two ball. And he might have gone 2 of 8. Kobe Bryant has gone 1 of 6. A little bit disappointing so far in this marquee matchup. They're not getting anything inside because they really don't have a back to the basket player in there right now. But they're getting wide open looks, both teams. They just can't knock them down. That's a three ball. Five. Washington on top. Well, a lot of this success started when Haywood came back and gave him a bigger presence, a uh, bigger size. And that's what the Lakers are capable of doing. They got so many guys that can make those outside shots that they're capable of running off a big streak. Michael Jordan now goes three of ten. He's got seven points. Four and a half to play in the half here in Los Angeles. Kobe Bryant floats through the lane. Oh, it slams it in. He hang glides. He's got five. Kobe Bryant getting his own miss and making him feel it at the other end. Things are beginning to pick up. The Wizards, however, still on top. 38 to 32. Sir, he is definitely moving better at both ends of the court. Now, maybe it's just those minutes, but right there he shows his age defense. Oh, what a play by Michael Jordan. He pulls a Houdini inside. How does this go in? I don't know. This is good. Michael thought he got fouled going to this hole right there, but Richmond gets beat baseline right there. He jumps in to initiate contact. Oh, just a little bit of contact right there. <laughs> Sweet play, though, by Michael. Here against Washington. Shot clock at six. Fox to Fisher. The drive into Jordan and Hubert Davis. Davis to Popeye Jones. Finding Michael Jordan. Back into Jones with a beautiful pass and cut it for two. See, that's an example of what Popeye did. He threw the ball in the corner to, to Jordan. Made a beautiful cut to the basket. Very simple. But a lot of guys would have stood outside, caught it, and put the ball in the basket. He was known because of his Lakers, but Chris Whitney. Not very many people know very many of these Washington Wizards. Three-point shot by Derek Fisher. And these guys have all been role players on other teams around the league. None of them have been starters on, on any other team. Jordan floats and fires. He's got 11. 
Here comes Kobe Bryant, who's been chilly tonight shooting. Two of nine, stolen right there. Michael Jordan against Fox. Begins to accelerate. Fox bumps him. The ball jarred free. Well, Kobe thinks he can get through Michael right there. Michael blinks a little bit. Make sure he doesn't poke his eye out. There. This team is showing an awful lot more poise than they did early in the year. Bryant off a screen. And the 14-point lead of the Wizards. Post play, but they've got to be more aggressive with Kobe, force him to take the outside shot, but get a hand up. Up and on down him. the floor and play against the, the uh, Wizards in a half-court set. Wow. That body's strewn all over the floor. Fox Gilly there of knocking out Whip. Another flagrant foul. Right here, you see Kobe. He's going to try to get the screen. He makes no effort to get through that screen. Yeah, you've got to adjust regardless of whether you agree or disagree with the official. Yeah. Playing basketball is about to play that way, so it doesn't look like to me. The number seven score in the NBA coming into tonight. And he just gave Washington their biggest lead, 59. 41, a lead of 18 points. Inside Madsen with the slam to play. Michael Jordan, handcuffed, fires inside. Popeye Jones! The other's not playing and going into the paint. Hamilton's got 17. Brian careens his way down. Phil Jackson says they're complacent. What are they? Well, I, I felt like some of the things that Michael does, and he plays off of Michael so well. Outside, Lindsey Hunt for three. Kobe Bryant scoops it inside. So Ricky Walker. Fantastic play by Kobe right there, but it looked like Samaki got did some figure skating underneath the mask right there. Look at all the people surrounding him, Kobe. That's why he's got to become a passer. But boy, a little skating underneath right there. More confidence, and they're doing things that they weren't doing earlier. Bryant across the lane, fights for three. They weren't getting any free baskets. They also were not going inside. Kobe Pappas! Brian Scott 10! He was hey guys. Now while you are watching this classic NBA content, please be so kind and subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. It only takes a second for you, but for us this means the world. Thank you very much. And now let's continue with the best of NBA basketball. Hyde wanted to give him a breather, but Michael realizes the momentum is changing in this game, and he needs to be out there right now. But he is resting. He's just on the court resting. <laughs> so Teron Lou comes back in. Rip Hamilton will take a breather. 320 to play in the third. Jordan with the twirl. Nice fake. Leads him. Oh, another freak one. Oh, I love the way he rests. 15 for Michael Jordan. Well, that's why he, you know, he picks his spots right there. Very he was resting. So look, I'm ready now, but Rick Fox was was hugging him, grabbing him and pulling him down. He got away with one there. Watch this shot by Michael Jordan. Giving you a different move with every part of his body. Also, he has no read, he says, on the chemistry of the team. He gave them a personality test. <laughs> the foul was close to go. Doing a real good job. Here comes Kobe Bryant. Where's Derek Fisher in this game? Kobe Bryant hits again. Well, in, in looking at this, I mean, Rick, Rick Fox is doing a good job. He's really on Michael physically. I think he's making Michael use all the energy he can use. He's holding him. He's locking him. He's staying on him. And that's what you have to do. Coming this third quarter, Hubert Davis in the game. Giving to Michael. Jordan's got 15. All on a steal. Here comes Kobe Bryant. Flies in for two. So graceful. So smooth. Right here, Michael did this to Kobe in the first half. Kobe gets him back. And all of a sudden, this Laker lead, is, or the Washington lead, is dwindling. And again, we're talking about no turnovers, no fast break. They're creating turnovers and getting in the open court. Three point play by Kobe Bryant. Lakers to within two with 60 seconds to play in the third quarter. Got some full court pressure. That's it with the foul. A chance to rest more. You know, sort of help that as much as he can. And don't think that Kobe and Phil Jackson in part of this game has anything to do with him not wanting to come out here. Very much focus on what they were doing. Now they're getting a little bit too involved. Seconds remain here. Kobe Bryant, who's been a flamethrower in the third. Sean for the lead. Followed suit with that intensity. Jones. Jordan. Over Jordan. 
fuck with our Shaq Bannon. Uh, I haven't seen him play with this. George breaks a 15-0 L.A. Bryant, Devin George, Robert Ory, Fisher, and Samaki Walker. L.A. shooting 64% from the field in this second half, and none hotter than Kobe Bryant, who's got 19 points. He's really played a spectacular game. He's figured out the game and what he needed to do as the game has gone along, but you got to give Phil Jackson a lot of credit for the intensity that this team is playing with as well. What a shot by Michael Jordan. He's got 20. Well, well, and you look at this, I mean, M Michael still, I mean, we can talk about his age all we want to. That, you know, this is a guy 39 years old, you know, who's, who's very capable of playing against much younger players. Okay, healthy. Bryant with a fake. Oh, what a move by Kobe Bryant! Another breathtaking maneuver for Bryant to find two. Kobe gets the ball at the top of the key, and he's just isolated out top. If anybody comes, he can find him for wide open like he's been doing. He's been dishing off. There, the lane is wide open, and it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Tyrone Esby on an island with Kobe. Well, Those moves, and, though. And, and I think you are absolutely right in the offense, but now he's gradually letting go. Kobe has played very smartly. He didn't get caught up in this challenge between he and Michael Jordan, and he's been extremely effective. Jordan's got 22. Jewish Lakers. Bryant led the way. Bryant's got it now. Feel it out. Outside. Fisher from way outside. I'll let you do your thing at strategical times of the games, and I think that that's a brilliant thing as far as Phil is concerned. Kobe and Michael head to head. Oh, Bryant took it right to him. And, and that was the match that you can see the crowd. They've been waiting for that matchup all night. There's the inside from Jordan and a foul call. Thing, all those players in the league. We got to face this guy. He's 23 years old. He's going to be around. Who knows? He might stay around as long as Michael. Jordan gets a standing ovation as he hits the bench for the Wizards. They're be in great shape. They don't have to be embarrassed by this at all. Here comes Bryant between two defenders. Out to Fisher for two. Well, I'll tell you what, Danny. You're absolutely correct. But the greatest testimony to the Wizards is that the Lakers are happy as they can be that they beat the Wizards tonight. <laughs> and, and I think that that is the biggest indication of how far the Wizards have come in their franchise. The defending champions coming back from 20 down to beat Washington 103 to 94. As Kobe Bryant with a mesmerizing performance. And Shaquille O'Neal and Sibby's on the sideline, injured and not playing. And you can see overcoming their biggest deficit of the year. 20 points down as we send it over to Craig Sager. Well, Kobe, definitely an all-star performance the second half. You guys only had 35 points in the first half. You fell behind by 20. What did Coach tell you? What was the difference? No, oh, man, we just sat in the locker room, and I told the fellas, we need to check ourselves because we're the world champions. and We're not out here fighting. We're not out here scrapping and getting after guys. And it's, it was crazy to me. It was embarrassing. We need to come out and start fighting like world champions do. Is that something you normally would do or is it something you did because Shaq was out? It's something that we need to do because it's the second half of the season. You know, whether she kills in a ball game or not, that's no excuse. We can't hang our hats on that. We have to come out and fight for every possession. You came out in the third quarter, obviously far more aggressive. A couple of times there were picks that were set for you. You ran right through them. Why? I just wanted to send them a message. You know, I'm not going to dodge picks. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to acknowledge that the picks are there. And a couple of times I'm going to run over you, whether you're big or small. Just kind of let you know. I mean, the first one, I didn't think it was a flagrant foul. I didn't want to get a flagrant foul on it, but it happened. I guess I think you send a message. It's been a heck of a three days for you, from the MVP of the All-Star Game to this great comeback win. What's it all been like for you? You know, it's big for us, you know, and to be able to come back from 20 and to win a ball game, especially under these circumstances, uh, you know, it says a lot about our character. You had to stay within the system, but we all talked about Kobe against Michael. It finally happened. Less than a minute to go in the game. Was that special for you going against Michael and bearing that shot? <laughs> well, you know, I was able to have a good look at the basket. I wanted to penetrate, but Chris Whitney was behind, and I uh, just pulled up and hit the jump shot. I'll step aside. You go to the locker room. You don't have to run me over. Great job. <laughs> All right, Craig, thank you very much. A jaw-dropping performance by Kobe Bryant. So that was it for today's video. We hope you had fun watching this classic NBA content of the golden age of NBA basketball. Make sure you check out our channel for more videos like this one. Hope to see you next time on NBA Basement.